In this video, we're going to prove the side-side-side triangle congruence theorem. The triangle congruence theorem, side-side-side theorem, says if we're given triangles A, B, C, and D, E, F with A, B equal to D, E, B, C equal to E, F, and A, C equal to D, E, then triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F. Now, we're actually going to prove this, that we did not prove the side-angle-side postulate because it was a postulate meaning, or sometimes called an axiom or postulate, which means that it is accepted without proof. It's actually one of the building blocks of uh, Euclidean geometry. But we can actually prove this, and this should be proved in your high school geometry course, but I have seen some high school geometry courses that will call this a postulate uh, because they don't want to prove it, but it's really not that hard to prove. It's a little, it uses a little bit of a, a technique that may not be obvious, but we're going to go through it. So here are the techniques. So the proof is we're given triangles ABC and DEF with AB equal DE, BC equal EF, and AC equal DF. They're marked there, and they're color-coded with the corresponding sides congruent. And, of course, we can manipulate this in the diagram to see the corresponding uh, changes in, the, in both triangles. So the first step is we construct a ray AG so that the angle CAH, this angle right here, is congruent to the original angle EDF. Okay? And H needs to be on the opposite side of this uh, line AC from B, so it's down here. Now, we know there's a postulate that says that, uh, angle measure postulate says we can do such a thing. Next, we're going to go out a distance from A to B, which, of course, is the same as DE, and mark that point where that goes out on that ray as point K. So we have AB is equal to AK, which is equal to DE. Next step, we complete a triangle here from C to K. Now, compare these two triangles here. What do we know? We know that the two green sides are congruent between these two triangles, we know that the two red sides are congruent, and we know that the two angles here are congruent. So we have the side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So that's a postulate that we know, and so by the side, angle, side condition, those two triangles uh, must be congruent. Now corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, so that means that these sides here, the blue sides, are also congruent. So KC is congruent to EF, which is congruent to BC. Now, if we next we're going to draw a line segment from B to K. Now it's going to intersect right here at X. Now X may be outside the triangle, or it might be inside the triangle, but it intersects line AC at point X. Now look what we have here. BAK is an isosceles triangle. So that's going to make these angles congruent. And so is BCK. So whether we look here in this picture or this picture, we have two isosceles triangles. So we get a corresponding angles. This one and this one are congruent from the isosceles triangle theorem. And we also get these two here are congruent. Well, that means that the big angle at B is congruent to the big angle down here. Well, now what does that tell us about these two triangles? Well, we have this side is congruent to this one, the two green ones. We also have the two blue ones are congruent. And we have the angle, the big angle at K and the big angle at B are congruent. And so those two triangles are congruent by the, by the side angle side postulate, which tells us that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AKC, but AKC was congruent to DEF, um, so therefore the two original triangles are congruent to each other, and we have proved the theorem. So a little tricky proof. Uh, if you're in the trig class, uh, our introductory geometry class, I'm not going to have you learn this proof, but if you were in a college geometry class, then I would expect you to know how to do uh, this proof. But hopefully, even if you can't um, prove it yourself, you can at least kind of follow along with the proof that we have here. 